For 30 years, Just Hockey has supplied the largest range of hockey equipment in Australia, offering all the top brands and a wide range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment. All you need to do is check out the website for your nearest store, the latest specials and breaking news from around the hockey world. Make sure you're playing your best with the best from Just Hockey. Hello and welcome to Hockey Zone and the Just Hockey JT1 Finals tonight, East versus Saints. I'm Peter Smith, joining me is Mick. We're going to be talking to the coaches in a minute. In fact, I'm going to send my roving reporter Mick Smith over to talk to the coaches from East and Saints. Yeah, here with uh, the two coaches of the East team, Julian Barry. Thanks for your time. I know it's a big night. Tell us, uh, how was this week's lead up to the game? Yeah, it was... Uh... We had good training sessions this week. We worked on quite a few things that we, we felt we would need tonight to do. Um, girls are ready. Any nerves in there at the moment? Lots of nerves. Lots of excited nerves. So there'll be a bit of chatter going on. So how do you get their attention and get the last bit of message in through the girls' heads before they run out there? Um, I think the girls know what they've got to do. Uh, they are a little bit nervous like anyone would be, but quite confident that they're, they're focused now and they're switched on. And it's just a matter of going and doing what we do well. All right, thank you very much and all the best for tonight. Yeah, here we are with uh, Liz and Rachel, the captains of the Saints girls. Girls, welcome to the big grand final night. How's the nerves? Yeah, um, I'm pretty nervous to be honest, but I'm also pumped as well. I think that the team's well prepared. Um, we've been at training, we've been working hard, so hopefully we can just pull it together. And is this your first time, Liz? Rachel, it's not your first time in a final, is it? <laughs> um, this is our first time in the final. Um, it's. I think we made it two years ago, actually. It's our first time as a whole team. We've yes. individually been in different finals. Yep. But, but this team, first time. It's a bit of a younger team, because there's only about four older ones who move on next year. So there yep. are a few from next year, and we've got the younger ones coming in. So it's a pretty good team. OK, and we were supposed to talk to the, uh, to the coaches, and they've sent out the two <laughs> captains. So anything you'd like to say about the coaches this year? Well, Kelly Free is our coach, and Karen Davis is our manager. They're both fantastic. They've both helped us so much. Um, We've learnt heaps, they've given us heaps of advice. We wouldn't be here without them, obviously. They're fantastic. All right, and as you go back into the uh, dressing shed, the nerves are going to build. What's the last thought before you run out there? You got this one? It's just going to be you play as a team. The nerves yeah. are going to come from each other, and it's just you've got to build the intensity and work with the team, make it flow fast and push the ball early. The arms are up. We're at the Just Hockey JT1 Girls Finals, and that's the whistle. We're underway, last game of the year. St Andrews versus East. Barnes was doing some running for Saints. She was running like the wind to get onto that one. Oh, oh bad pass. Good pass at all. There's a 12. It goes across there. I think you find that's Lacey Smith. They've changed. Yeah, that is Lacey Smith. Sorry, Pete. Yeah, Laney Smith. Uh, she intercepts this wayward pass. Gets a one-on-one -on -one with the Keith up, but that shot's well wide. Laney, I should say. And uh, they're not really related, but they play in some nice teams together, so... Oh, again, nice cheap turnover. Harris was able to get free. She's got McCready to beat. She beats her with the jink. Goalie comes out. She's inside the circle. Goalie gets it on the pads. McCready gets it straight through. Alicios gets the ball. McCann comes at Alicios. Alicios puts it on McCann's feet. She has a look. Lynch is calling it hard out to the right-hand side. And the umpire says, inside the five, Pete. Oh, Ruby Harris, that's a great job here. Gets around three players. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But instead of passing it, she went for the direction. Turning it over way too early. Caitlin Free does the injection. McPhee gets the ball, flicks it across to McCann. McCann comes there. Alice goes straight back in there, loses the feet. Nice hot shot. It's umpire says, play on. Great bit of advantage. And uh, umpire says, no advantage gained to Saints. We're going to have our second short corner, Pete. Yeah, not a good um, first up attempt. But you'll see Marcy McCann makes the most of this. Has a shot, but well read Caitlin by the Free keeper. Caitlin Free to inject. McPhee to trap. 
Wonder if it goes straight across now to McCann. There it is. Marcia looks up nice and flat. It's there. It's a goal. First goal of the game. Grand final goes to Saints. 20 minutes to go. First half. There he is, the goal scorer there, Marcy McCann, in the middle of the two other girls there. Yeah, it was a very simple uh, short corner, went straight to Marcy McCann. She traps it nicely, gets a shot away quite easily, beats the keeper. It's, you know, the girls are playing hard and we're probably not appreciating that as much as what we should, so. Interesting to go. East now on the attack inside the circle for about the second time tonight. Flick to the top, Lysios is there. Umpire says, oh no, we've got a stroke. Grand final, nine and a half minutes, stroke called. Talk us through that, Pete. Wow, I was watching. I thought it was going to be a penalty corner, but we'll have a look to see why a stroke was called. Maybe it hit a foot behind a player who was behind the keeper. So the ball comes in across the spot. There's a scramble for it there. And I'm not sure. Bringing the ball inside the circle. Umpire is just running across to grab the ball, which flipped up the cry there, so... Here we is, they put it on the circle. The umpire asks both ready. They get a couple of seconds to flick. There it is. Harris flicks it. One all. East run to Harris to celebrate. If I was the coach, I'd be saying, get back and get ready. Uh, well taken penalty stroke. Nice and low and firm. Beats the keeper. And uh, it's a perfect place to put the ball. The keeper finds it very hard to get across to that East spot. East now through Newen. Does the big hit. Oh, McPhee tried to trap it. Milford now comes away that Harris leads to the centre, gets it on the back, McCready comes left and right, Harris has a shot, puts it on the goal, cross the sideline, to the left, umpire says, not touched, we're going to have a 16. So, good work from Gabby Lynch, got around the traffic and got a shot away. But it's... Looks like uh, East is going to inject, not worry about the clock. Puts it at the top there to Costa. Costa does a swig on the outside. Oh, nice bit of defence there again by McPhee. Was able to get the ball, put it straight on the stick. And I think you find it might have hit Jamie Torpy in the mouth. Not a great trap up the top of the circle. And it was hit from outside the circle. So needed they the defence. And Saints won it just as bad. So that's probably why they call it a grand final. Lynch now gets it. Was able to get through uh, Elizabeth Haig. McCann came in. McPhee came in there as well. Umpire blew it back. Smith stops the ball on the mark. She's going to go a hard hit again. Finds Harris on top of the circle. Harris has a shot in the goal. That come out of nowhere. 20 minutes to go, second half. East go to the lead. 2-1. Talk us through that, Pete. Sloppy, well, but it was a goal. Well, good work to get it into the circle. Jade Smith sees a vacant Harris. And Harris, nice one. Nice turn and touch. You watch it. Smith sees Harris, top of the circle. Harris gets one shot away, the beats the keeper. Smith to take it and get the injection. There's a touch. Oh, oh, that was disappointing. Jazzy Thomas missed a goal. You watch, it comes in. The runners are out nice and fast. Gabby Harris does well and a missed opportunity. Yeah. You watch it on the post, you'll see... Jazzy Thomas. Costa missed. missed times it, but she finds Torpy. Torpy shots up, has a look. Straight there, the goalie was well and truly aware of that yeah, one. Tries to drag McCann, she does. McCann comes back. Smith puts it through the legs of, of McPhee. McPhee now, sorry, Torpy puts it at the top of the circle. Finds it, Elysios. Elysios flicks it up. That's the third goal of the night. Well, and that's the way to beat a good goalie like Rachel Gadd. You've got to do this to beat Rachel Gadd. The ball's kept in play and... Pass Gad onto Alicia's stick. She just pops it in the back of the net. Well done from Torpy to see Alicia's there waiting for the ball. Yeah, watch, Alicia... watch this again. Just pass across. You see Alicia's come to the spot. Put a pass Gad. And here we are. Look at this. Saints on the attack now. That's Hag there. Puts it in top of the circle. They've got Saints running for it. Umpire says no. We're going to play Quite the court. Free and Hag. Nice injection there. Marcy McCann. Oh, great shot there. Brown went down. There was just a little bit outside there. Yeah, it was a well worked penalty corner. Goes straight to L1. L1 brings it in. Good shot. But Ella Brown <laughs> Way too good. got McPhee on the bench for two minutes. Yeah, it was um, McF Anna McPhee was in that for all money. So it was really good competition there to see. So six minutes to go. East again put it in nice and wide. Get the tap. Oh, Torpy gets a nice little pass there. But great bit of defence there. I think you find from... From Courtney Davis. Yeah, watch this. Comes in. Courtney Davis comes across and sweeps the Sink ball away. Now, brings the ball in. Harris tries to 
tries to pounce on it. Harris and Seacombe. Harris gets the stick to the ball. Umpires letting him play advantage. Harris looks up, finds Lynch. Lynch with two on one situation. Top of the circle. Goalie's out. Goalie comes back. Alicios is there. Milford goes for it. Both nearly take each other out. Jane Smith comes, takes the ball. McCready comes across. Smith comes across. Hag now gets the ball. Flicks it up. Talk us through that, Pete. Exciting well, play. Look at the good lead from Lynch. Gets it in there. But Gad just manages to get Free. a boot to it. Watch Caitlin Free here for the deflection. Straight off McFree. Ball goes out from Fee. There's McPhee. She flicks in. Nice drag flick. Ella Brown was up to it. Flicked it across there. Was able to get it. Umpire playing great advantage. Oh, nice advantage there by the umpire. Great little setup there. Well, Pete. you called it. It went to McPhee. And McPhee, nice drag flick. But Ella Brown, way too good. And then another good shot here. But it's nicely wide. Oh. There we are. 3-1 to East. Saints go down. 3-1. The JT1 girls. There we are, grand final winners. East, congratulations to both teams. Congratulations to the umpires. It was well umpired tonight.